there, welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. So I would like you to share with me in the comments below whether you like it or you don't like it. And I'm very pleased, I'm halfway to my giveaway. Once I have 100 subscribers, I will have a giveaway and I'm looking so forward to that. Um, it's exciting. And I'd like to thank those of you who have taken the time to subscribe. And if you haven't yet, please think about subscribing. I am going to try to put out a lot of content that you like. And if you hit the notification bell next to subscribe and choose all notifications, you will get to see everything that I put out and um, let me know what you think. So today I went shopping and I was thinking I really want to show this to my viewers and I thought this is the time to show you some things um, what I do to instill creativity into my crochet projects which isn't just crochet I add things I embellish things and I make things my own and this is what I want to share with you to encourage you to do the same because we all want to put a little bit of ourselves into our, our work and make make it our own. So anyways, I always love to go down the craft aisle of my dollar store because I always find little things that I could add to my projects. And I have some ornaments that I made for Christmas and I know it's past Christmas, we're going to Valentine's Day, but there are certain ones that they're not just for Christmas. You can use them as little decorations. So I have them in a bag here. And the reason I'm showing you these is because I have embellished them with things I got from the dollar store. So you can go and you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy little decorative things to decorate your projects and make them a little bit special. And if you saw my video on gift, my creative gift bag, I used some things that I got from the dollar store as well. And um, yeah, so let me start. I will show you these things and I will show you the little the little pieces that I put on and and where I got them from. So this is something very simple. And I'm sure you've seen these before. Very simple Christmas ornament. But you'll notice that I put a little embellishment in the center and then the red ribbon. So I will show you the little embellishment. I just have to find it. Here. Okay. So here is rhinestone stickers from our local Dollarama in various sizes. And they're sparkly and they look nice and they do have a sticky back but I use hot glue to fasten them and so that's what I did with this to make it a little bit special. I'll show you another one. So here is another Christmas ornament and you'll notice that I put more rhinestones on. There is one above and one below and then there's this word bead which says peace and also these pretty little white things here. I got these in a package, different colors, so different packages. They can decorate your projects like so. And I also use this to put in my gift bag to decorate the little um, bow. So these come in handy. And I don't have the packaging because I've used a lot of these. And also, this is really cool. These are word beads. Now I do have more of them, which are open. These aren't open yet. Okay, I have an open package. Okay. I'm gonna show you what they look like. So they have two sides. Gentle, friend, I made a tote bag for a friend of mine and I and I added forever friend and they have holes pretty large holes on the sides and I just used yarn and a darning needle to sew them on but you can also use hot glue so there's all kinds of different words dream 
and kiss. This one is song and from. So they could be whatever. I, I did um I did other decorations for other people with those word beads. I won't go through all of them, but I'm sure that wherever you live, um, if you have a dollar store or you could even probably purchase them online. This company called Craft is a company that produce in Montreal that produces um, items for the dollar store. They produce yarn, they produce beads, buttons, what have you. Okay, so that's two and I did another color. This one says divine. I'm not going to show you all of them. This one says beauty. And you'll notice there's a flower here. And again, another dollar store find, different colors. So these are just some of the ways I add embellishments. I really like this one. So this could be for a little girl's room. Now I just happen to have some lace around, um, but you can find this at the dollar store too in the craft section. Word bead princess. And you'll notice there's a little butterfly. I've got a couple of things in here. You'll see a bunch of sparkly things. So you may not always want to use these fancy things and definitely not for wearables, but if it's going to be an ornament or decorating gift bag or there's so many different ways you can use these things. And the other thing that's in here are these wooden buttons. They're shaped like stars. And I haven't used them yet, but I thought they were pretty interesting. And out of the package, they look like this. Let's see. So those could be used on a child's little outfit. They've got flowers on them. So that's more stuff. Okay. So just to show you some of the other items, um, these come in different colors. And I got some of these too, because these things, wooden embellishments, again by that same company. I don't know if you like seeing this stuff, but I decided to bring it all out so you know what I mean when I talk about creative crochet and adding things. Um, so those ornaments, I mean, I think that's really pretty. And that could be on an untraditional Christmas tree. Like if you know of Crystal from Bag -a Day Crochet, she had a pink Christmas tree and I think that's where I got the inspiration for a pink set of ornaments. So I made a set of three. So there's princess and there's this one. I added some wired cord around it. And the one I showed you, beauty. So it's a set of three. This one goes like that. So it's just a way of having fun by having these little extra crafty things around. Okay, so you might find out about me that I like to make things in sets. So I'm going to show you how I use just one little embellishment in this particular set. Um, I was really into making a megarumi at one point and so I'm not out of it, I just move on to different things, but I made these bears. So here's the boy bear. And I gave him pockets in the back. Very cute. And I made a baby bear. How adorable are these? 
And I made a girl bear, and look what she has in her hand. A flower, very cute, little dress, pan matching panties. <laughs> My little bear family. So that's another way to show you how to, how I always look for something a little extra. She's holding a little red rose. Now I also look for buttons at the dollar store. I go into the craft aisle and oftentimes there are various types of buttons. I've got buttons and buttons and buttons. Lots of buttons. Let's see. Various color. I try to organize them in colors. Now, why would I need buttons for crochet? Well, if you go back and look at one of my previous videos on creative gift giving, you will see a baby's headband with a flower. And in the middle of that flower is a button. And that's how I fasten the flower onto the headband. I've got large buttons, small buttons, buttons of every size. So I am going to show you something that I made that used one of the buttons. So I'm, I've been into making sets for mom and baby so that they could match. And so I made this headband for mom, the ear warmer. So this is what it looks like. Really cute, warms the ears. If mom has a ponytail, can go right up the top. And I'll just take that off. I made a hat for baby that is coordinating with the colors and it's got this really nice shell stitching in it. And I made this gorgeous sweater. And if you notice, it's got the little heart embellishment to go with the hat and the mom's ear warmer and look at the button isn't that neat i just love this sweater it's so thick i actually doubled up some of the yarn to make it even thicker look at that i just love that so that's why I always like to have buttons around because I never know when I will be able to make use of one. I always like to look for buttons for sweaters. I made a hat with a button in it. And like I said, the flower with the button. So today I found they had all kinds of buttons that were already color coordinated. And some of these buttons are really neat, like one of a kind. And to embellish a hat or a sweater, sometimes there are multiples of them. If you look at my intro video, you will see a Yoshi sweater that I made for my grandson. And those buttons I got in a dollar store haul in, in a package with various buttons. So there were multiples of that same button. So I got the green ones. And I got these red, purple, pink colored ones. I'm not going to take them out of the package. So hopefully you can see. And these were $1.25 at Dollarama. I got these hot pink. And there's some really cool buttons in here. I'm sure I'm gonna incorporate them into my pro projects. As a matter of fact, I just got this ice yarn and look at that. I mean, really, there's so many things you can do with buttons just as a decorative feature or actually as a closure. So that's that would be really nice. And I got one other set with 
black and white because hey you can always use black and white and look at this gigantic white button I don't know if it's, this is something that you would use in your projects but it's a lot of fun and I made some washcloths which I decorated like so and they can be displayed in the bathroom like this So I'm always looking for embellishments for my projects. This little pink flower. And I have a package of those in pink and in a nice cream color. Fun to use. I got this butterfly ribbon. I'm sure I'll be able to use it for something with sparkles. And it's fabric, so I think it can be used on clothing, like maybe a baby's little sweater, hat. I don't know what I'll use it for yet, but I'm always looking for those types of things. So now I've got a whole slew of things in front of me, and I am going to have to clean this up and show you what else I have. show you were letter beads. You can get them in various colors and shapes and what I like about letter beads is that you can make either your gift personalized or your ornament personalized. Um, the toy could be personalized with the name around the little bear's neck. There's so many different things you can use with letter beads. These came from Michaels, these came from Walmart, but you can get beads anywhere. Now I will warn you that I bought met a little silver beads on Amazon and they were not good quality so just check the picture and be careful. They did return my money so that was good but these little white beads from Michaels make sure they have big enough holes if you want to use them with yarn. These ones have nice large holes which makes them really good for any cro crochet project because you can use yarn. So that's the last of the craft items for now. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of those. I love being creative with those little, little um, embellishments. It just makes things special sometimes. So I mentioned that I was at Costco and I talked about gift giving. And they have greeting cards and I'm not sure if you have those in your Costco where you are or if, if you have a Costco where you are. They used to come in boxes like this. Big flat boxes, 24 cards and inside the box it showed you the picture of the cards on the box. And inside the box here are your cards. And I bought these twice. And the cards are amazing to, to give a beautiful handmade crochet project and put it with this, like amazing. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. Each card comes with a very pretty envelope. Look at that. I just, when I see these in this in the store in Costco, I run and I buy them. This has little gold speckles or polka dots, flowers on the inside. And look at this, little sequins on the dress. And inside, this one says, hope your day is fancy and fabulous. And all of the cards are beautiful like this one. 
every one of them, the envelopes, just, and they each come in an individual plastic package and they tell you what is on the inside, what it says inside the card. Some of them I have as favorites and I hang on to them, like this one. Hope your birthday is spectacular with all this confetti that floats around on the inside and then and full of everything you can dream of on the inside and each one has a beautiful envelope so anyways this is the way they used to package them and the company what's the company name of these cards honestly i don't know but it might be made for costco i'm not sure Imported by Costco Wholesale Canada Limited. I'm not sure if you can get them in the States. But they are C.R. Gibson Industries, Inc. In Berwick, Pennsylvania. Made in China. So, let's... Okay. But, that's the old packaging. When I went to Costco today, I was excited to find new cards and new packaging. This is awesome. It comes in like a file box. Beautiful floral decorated file box. On the back, you can see all the cards that are inside. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. Very sturdy cardboard box. This is the inside. Isn't that awesome? There's tabs on the inside. There is new baby and wedding in one section. Blank and congratulations in another. Sympathy, birth and birthday. And a whole side is birthday because of course that's what we celebrate most, right? Birthdays. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of these cards. So here's a baby one and I just love it. I'm going to take it out to show you. Sometimes you can get ideas from your greeting cards. So for instance, I had a greeting card that was a unicorn and I made a unicorn hat. So I paired it up. This, oh, it's so cute. A little fuzzy lamb with little wool. So you could make an amigurumi lamb. You could make a little white sweater or cream color sweater, maybe with a lamb applique for a baby. And this says, welcome little one. I don't know if you could see that because it's a little bit hard to see. A little cloud and sparkles. And then on the inside it says, congratulations on your new little love. We all love to make baby things, so isn't that nice? And let's take a look at the card. Oh, it's really cute. So the envelopes are a little bit, I would say more plain. This one's more plain because in the other packaging, they were decorated on the back too. But this one is different. But open up the flap and look at that. How cute is that? Really, really cute. I'm always impressed by these cards. And then it's got a card that tells you what's inside and it says, for your convenience, we have provided the protective paper insert to safeguard against potential damage during mailing. So you can keep that inside until you decide to use it. These ones have a little place to put your stamp as well. Which the other ones didn't. So these are more for mailing. So in comparing, let's take a look at another card. In comparing the two sets, they've changed them a little bit. Putting it. So the old envelopes had the pointed flaps 
with fancy on both sides and on the other side and then look at that that goes with the um dinosaur birthday card this is adorable and it's all like 3d like they're they're not flat they're separate pieces of paper the dinosaur is thinking about a cupcake and this cupcake has beads on it so for this one I would probably make a little sweater with a dinosaur applique or maybe a little dinosaur amigurumi so match up the cards get inspiration from the cards for a child's gift there are a lot of ways to be inspired by other things to get new ideas for your crochet projects like who would think to design a crochet project around a greeting card but you can do that and make a set that matches the greeting card and it doesn't look that, that way it looks like you found a card to match your project but in fact you made a project to match your card how sneaky is that okay let's take a look at another one because i want to see if all of the envelopes in this new set are plain on the outside I like the idea that they're individually wrapped. Let's take a look at another one. I'm gonna, I haven't looked at all of these yet. I'm gonna pull out a surprise. Happy birthday. So I'm gonna open this one up. And of course, all the nice sparkles. Okay, so this envelope, they all have flat flaps, but look at this envelope. This one is decorated on the one side and on the other side and open it up to, oh, this one is plain. So they've changed them a little bit, but the card is really special. All of the letters are like a sparkly foam and on the inside wishing you nothing but the best on your birthday so the outside is definitely the um special part the insides are pretty simple but that's okay i'm gonna take a look at another one just to get an idea of how these ones are in comparison to the old ones. So far, the old ones, even though the packaging wasn't as great, the envelopes were better on the other sets. I'm gonna take another birthday card. <laughs> this is for a child, a pirate. <laughs> how cute. So the envelopes honestly feel thinner, but maybe they're making them weighted a certain way to mail because mailing is so expensive these days. Still very cute. It's got a little bit of pattern on one side. And then on the other side, you can see the pirate ship, the treasure chest, the pirate, and open it up to nothing. I'm not finding the envelopes as impressive, to be honest. I, I'm still glad I bought them though. And this, you can see the thickness of the pirate's hat. Very cute. Inside, very simple. Ahoy matey, wishing you a very happy birthday. So I think a child will like that. But not quite as impressive. The unicorn birthday card that I was talking about actually had a little a little unicorn crown that was removable for the little girl to put on her head. So far I don't see any cards like that with different parts. I'm going to show you a card in the other package that I loved. Okay, so in one of the original packages, I have two. This one I really liked because it's a cupcake and inside opens up like this. There are 
all these cupcakes. They have a string inside and you can hang all these little cupcakes. There's a bunch of them. There's one, one, two, three, four cupcakes. So if you're having a birthday party, you can hang them. Whoops. That's cute. And the envelopes are much less flimsy. They're really nice, solid. Oh, that's this one here. And they're also, they also have a lining inside, which the new ones don't. They're still worth it. It was $14.99 for 25 handcrafted all occasion greeting cards. It was on sale. $14.99. Like you can't go to the store and buy a card for, for that, even at the dollar store. So I say it's a good deal for sure. That's less than a dollar a card. And it's one more card than the packages in the past. So although they've cheaped out a little on the quality of the envelopes, it's still a, good, a very good deal. Now, what would you make with a cupcake theme? You can do um, a cupcake applique on a decorative cushion. There's so many things you could do. Okay, one more. I'm taking a blank card. So it could be anything. And this would be great for a hostess gift. Look at that. Wine and cheese. Very pretty. So you could have a hostess gift of perhaps a bottle of wine and some tea towels with some crochet handles. This is really nice because you may not be able to see it, but these are not paper, they're like foam. And there's a ribbon here. And you can see everything is attached separately. And of course, blank on the inside. And the envelope, again, is just not lined. It's pretty, it's got the gold grapes and the outside of the card, the back, has red and purple. So it's really pretty. But these card, these envelopes are not lined. And maybe it's better for mailing. And the other thing is, oh yes, this is different. It's got a peel, peel and stick backing, so you don't have to lick it. So these are definitely made for mailing, whereas the other ones are probably not as suited for mailing because it's a thicker envelope. So, yeah. Not complaining, I like them. And each one, you can pull it out and say, what am I gonna make to go with this card? Look at that. I would make an emoji pillow or an emoji decoration. Love it. What does it say inside? Bravo, congrats. So nice. I'm not gonna pull that one out, but it's got little gold happy faces on this bright yellow envelope. So $14.99, it was on sale from $18.99 at Costco. 25 cards with fancy envelopes. Awesome, love it. And definitely inspiring for crochet gifts. Um, projects with these cards. Lots of fun. So I've taken up a lot of your time. I hope you enjoyed looking at these. There's so many. I always, whenever I buy these, I sit and go through every single one of them because they're so fancy and nice. And my cat's just going in and out. I don't have a ghost in here. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for spending time with me, looking at all these little things, buttons and flowers and sequin not sequins um little rhinestones and letter beads and word beads and cards and 
lots of fun. Let me know if you like this idea, if, you, if it gives you some thought for your own sense of creativity and how you would bring all of this into your crochet projects and, and turn it into something that would make a great gift. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you will. I'm waiting to get to 100 and then I'm going to have a giveaway. I've got, I've got a lot of nice things to, to give you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye for now.